Okay, so if we look at these now, okay, so the left hand one is like the after, yeah. the right hand one is the after last lesson. Well, so we discussed your hip was sliding kind of in this direction. We said we don't want to be sliding this way, the hip is going to rotate around the corner. Now, what you've done is we said this is often the very common case, people sort of just basically push their right leg back and they sink on their left hip. But look on this one now, okay, so as you start going back, the knee is going in towards that right yeah, foot, okay? Yeah, it's so, like that yeah. is much further. Yeah. If we go in and zoom in there, it's a bit dark and falsy, but there you go. Yeah. yeah. The difference in your right knee movement, so your, yeah, your hips yeah, are yeah. definitely still turning there. You can see that your knees are moving accordingly, okay? But this one now, you're kind of more over here, whereas this one, yeah. Yeah, and then like, look at my leg there, yeah, and, there's, there's and a, that one straighter. Yeah, that's almost like a... Well, 20 degree yeah, 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 angle yeah, yeah, where yeah. that's kind of maintained. It's kind of so you're rotating around kind of the middle of your, your hip there, I'd say. You're not kind of going and moving it laterally side to side. So there's going to be a little bit of bump one way and t'other, obviously. But if you're in this on this right hand side, you know, stuck on your left side, there's no way now your hips can now move towards target. Whereas this one, you can see you start moving a bit through this left line kind of that way, yeah? You're moving now in that direction. Well, look at this one here now, you've got to go up and out. Yeah. yeah. So this one you can move toward. This one, the first move now is left. This one here now is whoop. It's almost like your teeth are kind of going up and out of the way, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that movement's only been caused by the fact you physically can't. If you, if you try and move left, you break your knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or fall over, one of the two. So it's getting yourself to move more to that left side. But you can't move left sided if you've done that. I mean, where'd you go? I mean, <laughs> yeah, you hurt yourself. And that's the problem sometimes. So. If we can get that backswing, I say initially, I think to start with, it almost feels like a little bit of a bump in that direction just to kind of trigger, trigger the, the hip. Go. But it's a subtle little yeah, kind of like yeah, bump. Yeah. It's not as if you're going there and going to go outside this way. It's just like a bump, like bump press yeah, down. Yeah, it's almost like you're pushing a can yeah, of coke yeah. in the ground. It's just that kind of like boom, push down. Yeah. So killing the animal under your foot. <laughs> the example I'm going to try to pick up with quickly. But yeah, that sort of subtle little trigger to start the swing. And then your knee now is going in towards your right foot. It's not going this way towards your left foot. I mean, your knee on that one there is kind of, the knee doesn't really move, does it? It almost yeah. stays on that dot where this one, you can see it moving in yeah. towards here. Now, if your knee stays there and goes down and out to the golf ball, and this leg then goes in that way, you've got to start backing up on the way down. You're going to be in a flip hook. Unless then you try to sort of hold the club face off, which is why when you make some swings now, you've actually struck them pretty good, they've just gone straight right. Because there's a part of you now that still remembers the ball going and hooking yeah, yeah. left, and more so with the driver. Um, so you create kind of sort of mechanisms in your swing to try and go, don't go left, <laughs> don't go left, like shove it way right. Yeah. And if you're fearful of going left on 16, as you said, you aim further right, you do the same swing as this one on the right hand side, you know, but that ball is just going to keep going left. How far yeah. right you go, I mean, you have to almost aim on the 30th green. <laughs> Um, to give us any sort of chance there, okay? So, yeah, get that lower half movement better. And I think as well, it's stuff we discussed, obviously your hips were going too much this way, they're now going too much this way. It's just finding that middle ground. Yeah, yeah. But that will kind of take practice in your head to think, okay, what's that movement going to feel like? And for you, it's just to find a feeling that you can relate to, grab onto, go, right, that's it, i got to do this. This is the movement, okay? I say, when I make the swing now, I don't think about my hip actually doing this and then turning, because I just kind of go... It kind of, my hip just does that, you see, yeah, I've yeah. done it for years. I don't naturally sort of go this way, equally, I'm not going to be going that way, okay? But once you kind of feel, okay, to start the swing and look almost this way and then turn around, turn around. It's not kind of that. And, then, and again, I think a good practice for you to just get the feeling is do some static back swing, swing the top and stop. And hold it for 10 seconds and see after that which one's the way to yeah if, you, if your leg is like it is sore you've gone the old way again yeah if your weight's more on the inside foot you'll feel it okay mate yeah cool right